13 million infants are born prematurely each year, and more than a million of those infants die. But I believe that through medical research and collaboration in the form of gaps, we can see the end of these, this global crisis of preterm birth and stillbirth. One of the reasons that uh, newborn deaths haven't been on the agenda for so long is society doesn't value the death of a newborn in the same way as the death of an adult. So if you think about it, there are maybe three million deaths due to HIV each year, and every day we hear what a big problem that is. And yet it's very rare that we hear about stillbirths as a problem or that we hear about neonatal deaths due to preterm birth. The only chance these babies have is, is if we provide, if we improve the quality of healthcare. What moves this group of scientists to work together and trying to, to, to find solutions? I think we have a major uh, health problem that is not getting the attention it deserves. Women really struggle with how to cope with the grief surrounding stillbirth and I think um, culturally in a, in a lot of places um, it's viewed as the woman's fault, it's viewed as something that she did. Um, we heard stories from women about very um, complicated cleansing rituals that they had to go through after a stillbirth in order to be acceptable for their husband. There's such a lack of attention on preterm stillbirth vis-a-vis -vis these other important areas in global health, and yet the numbers show that this is just such a significant disease burden uh, for women and children. These issues have been around a long time. And unfortunately, I think they've been ignored from the greater agenda of public health and health services for maternal and uh, newborn and child health, which have been underserved areas anyway um, for a variety of both political and resource reasons. The strongest impact that you can get from implementing evidence-based practice is from partnerships, particularly partnerships between scientists in the developed and developing world where you bring some of the best science that's out there to where the problems are. So I think that we can look at uh, prematurity and stillbirth now. Uh, I think should be uh, looked at with the same enthusiasm and vigor that in past years people have looked at uh, stroke and heart disease or uh, even cancer. Uh, certainly uh, the economic burden of prematurity is, is enormous, uh, estimated to be at direct costs of $26 billion a year in the United States alone. Probably half of those one million deaths due to preterm birth could be saved with very simple, low-tech care. You know, we lose 10 infants a minute uh, in this world uh, to both prematurity and stillbirth. Uh, so it's really critical that we don't waste time so that we're saving lives and improving lives.